A shell and tube heat exchanger is a class of heat exchanger designs. It is the most common type of heat exchanger, which is used in oil refineries and other large chemical processes and it is suited for high pressure application. As the name implies, this type of heat exchanger consists of a shell with a bundle of tubes inside it. One fluid runs through the tubes, and another fluid flows over the tubes. To transfer heat between the two fluids, the set of tubes is called a tube bundle, and may be composed of several types of tube, that is plane, longitudinal, or fin type. Two fluids of different starting temperatures, flow through the heat exchanger. One flows through the tubes and the other flows outside of the tubes but inside the shell. Heat is transferred from one fluid to the other through the tube walls. The fluids can be either liquids or gases on either the shell or tube side. In order to transfer heat efficiently, a large heat transfer area should be used, leading to the use of many tubes. In this way waste heat can be put to use. This is an efficient way to conserve energy. Heat exchangers with only one phase on each side can be called one phase or single phase heat exchangers. Two phase heat exchangers can be used to heat a liquid to boil it into a gas, sometimes called boilers, or cool a vapor to condensate it into a liquid which is called as condenser. With the phase change usually occurring on the shell side. Boilers in the steam engine locomotives are typically large, usually cylindrically shaped shell and tube heat exchangers. The design standard which is used to manufacture the heat exchanger is TEMA 9th edition, 2009. That is Tubular Exchanger Manufacturers Association. Also another one is EN 134453 that is unfired pressure vessels. Or else ASME boiler and pressure vessel code can be used. There are many variations on the shell and tube design. Typically, the ends of each tube are connected to plenums or sometimes called water boxes. Through holes in tube sheets. The tubes may be straight or bent in the shape of U, called U-tube heat exchanger. In nuclear power plants called pressurized water reactors, large heat exchangers called steam generators are two-phase. Shell and tube heat exchangers typically U-tubes. They are used to boil water recycled from a surface condenser into steam to drive turbine to produce power. Most shell and tube heat exchangers are either one, two, or four pass designs on the tube side. This refers to the number of times the fluid in the tubes passes through the fluid in the shell. In a single pass heat exchanger the fluid goes in one end of each tube and out the other. Surface condensers in power plants are often one-pass straight tube heat exchangers. Two- and four-pass designs are common because the fluid can enter and exit on the same side. This makes the construction much simpler. There are often baffles directing flow through the shell side so the fluid does not take a shortcut through the shell side leaving ineffective low flow volumes. These are generally attached to the tube bundle rather than a shell in order that the bundle is still removable for maintenance. Counter current heat exchangers are most efficient because they allow the highest log mean temperature difference between the hot and cold streams. Many companies however do not use two pass heat exchangers with AU tube, because they can break easily in addition to being more expensive to build. Often multiple heat exchangers can be used to stimulate the counter current flow of single large heat exchanger. The simple design of shell and tube heat exchanger makes it an ideal cooling solution for wide variety of applications. One of the most common application is the cooling of hydraulic fluid and oil in engines, transmission, and hydraulic power packs. So guys that was all about the shell and tube type heat exchangers. Like our video and subscribe our channel for more educational videos. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.